everyone. In this video we're going to demonstrate how to pick the horse's hoof out. So here we have a hoof pick with a brush on the end of it. Okay, so when we go to pick up a horse's hoof we always stand facing the back end of the horse because the horse when it picks the foot up it comes back up like that and that's how we can see the underneath of it. So to begin with we place our hand at the top of the leg and we run our hand down until we get to the fetlock which is this joint here and then we give a little squeeze and we pull up. Sometimes they go like what Toby did and he places it back down. So we just ask again, okay? So as we can see here, we've got the horse's hoof here, okay? Um, that part there is the frog. That's the outside there. That's the wall of the hoof. And this is the sole, okay? Toby's due to get his feet trimmed very shortly. And we can see that by, <coughs> he's got old sole there and his heels are just starting to roll under a little bit on the outside there okay and he's got a little bit of old frog there so he's he's due to get his feet trimmed in the next week okay so um out here as i've sort of said in um, other videos we, we are in drought at the moment so there's not much mud around but what you want to try and do is aim between where the frog joins the heel here aim the hoof pick in press down and then forward and you just basically want to dig down there and try and clear out that if there's more mud or any type of debris in there that will basically get it all out okay and the brush is really handy to clean it out, especially if it's a bit muddy and you want to put some hoof oil or anything like that on it, the brush is really good to be able to get the excess dirt and mud off, okay? <clears throat> also, one other thing to look out for is that horses can de develop a bacterial inf infection called thrush, and it's often found here and on their frog, okay? And how you can see that, is that um, the hoof can be quite, become quite soft and quite black and there is a very very potent smell to it so if you do see that please get in touch with your farrier and take action to to get on top of that as quick as possible okay when placing the foot down always make sure that your feet are out of the way because sometimes people will go like that and then they put the foot the horse's foot down straight on top of their foot make sure both of your feet are out to the side and then gently place the horse's hoof down okay so I'll just pop the hoof away so when we move back to doing the back leg it's just a little bit different okay always make sure that you are to the side of the horse okay and run your hand down Toby will pick it up fairly good see how he's had a bit of a stretch most horses will do that and they'll bring their leg right up and they'll have a really big stretch and then you'll feel them release it when they release it that's when you can start to walk it out to the back and you place their fetlock on your knee and then you can pick their hoof out so some horses you can stretch their leg out a little bit further okay and when you finish you take your leg away again stand to the side and then let the horse place its foot back down Okay, thank you.